As the summer has ended and the fall has taken over, our two-year anniversary of moving to New Brunswick is just a couple weeks away. We've made a home here in St. John. We love our new city and we haven't been afraid to show it. You say so many good things about St. John. All the things you say about St. John yes. makes us really proud. Oh, it is. <laughs> so people have often asked us, why St. John? Well, there is no romantic answer to that question. I'd be lying if I didn't say I thought about what some of the other cities had to offer that St. John doesn't. And although we are quite satisfied with the city by the bay, that won't stop us from exploring one of New Brunswick's other big three, the one they call Atlantic Canada's riverfront capital. But Daddy, where are we going to stay? When going away for a couple nights, one of the biggest challenges you'll be facing is finding a great place to stay. Location, cleanliness, amenities, and wow factor are some of the things that I personally look for. Luckily for us, the sponsor of today's video, Premier Suites Fredericton, ticked all those boxes. Are you ready? We're going inside to check out the, the suite. Oh, uh, like a hotel? Well, it's not really a hotel, it's a suite. It's different from a hotel. Yeah. Okay, Amy, we are here. Um, Premier Suites, thank you so much for having us this weekend. But where where are we? This place is awesome. What 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 makes you guys awesome? What is Premier Suites? Well, first off, thank you for coming. I'm glad you think it's awesome. We think it's pretty awesome here too. Um, we're in Fredericton, New Brunswick, downtown on King Street at the Creighton, which is the name of the building. Um, and this is one of two buildings where Premier Suites Fredericton is located. Okay, cool. And what what separates um, Premier Suites from like a hotel or a motel or like a, what makes you guys you? What makes us unique? Yes. First off, when you uh, stay with us, you get a full kitchen. So not something you normally get in a hotel room. Mm -hmm. um, they're generally 1,100 to 1,400 square feet. So you're getting the space and you get the luxury of having a full apartment with um, full amenities of the building, as well as fully furnished and all your kitchen supplies uh, when you arrive. So all you have to do is bring your luggage. Okay guys, so how about a tour? Here we go. I'm just entering large entryway. I love that galley style kitchen. You guys can see it's full. I mean, it has everything you need. Dishwasher, full sink, full size fridge, dining room table definitely came in handy the night we decided to cook. What I thought was really cool is how the, the kitchen overlooks the living room. The living room was a good size. It had a, a full size sectional couch, massive TV and a desk, which, uh, it excites me. I love a good desk. Down the hallway is where I found the master bedroom. And it had a good sized closet. The bedroom itself was, was pretty large, big enough for a chair. You know it's a big bedroom when you put a chair in there. And the ensuite. This, this was really nice. I mean, who doesn't love a good ensuite, right? But coming out of this bedroom, we walk down the hall to the opposite side of the unit. And on the opposite side here, we find another bedroom. This is the second bedroom. And just outside this room is the bathroom. Well, the other bathroom. This is a, a full-size bathroom. The other one just had a shower. This one, tub. So both boxes checked. You have a shower on one side, tub on the other. And as you guys can see, this unit is really big. Now, I was lucky enough to tour one of the smaller units and as you can see, it's not particularly small. It's just smaller than, than where we were. Um, the only real difference is this one was a one bedroom plus den, whereas ours was, was a full two bedroom. So you still get the full kitchen, you still have the dining room, separate living area. This is me entering the den. Now, I love a good office setup and I could definitely see myself working here. And yeah, look at that. That'd be a pretty cool zoom background for you guys, for all you remote workers out there. And it's nice to have like a separate spot to work uh, from where you're going to be sleeping. So as you can see, there is a separate bedroom. This one, great size, good size closet. Um, I did notice the TV, which is kind of cool. We don't really watch TV in bed, but I guess it's nice to have the option. I'm, sh I'm sure some people do. And yep, as you can see, full bath, has a tub, toilet, big vanity. I think that's even a closet. I don't think I open it, but yeah it, it ticks all the boxes this is a, a great spot 
for when you're traveling, you don't have to feel like you're in a hotel or Airbnb. You feel like you're at home here. For the ones who can't miss a workout, you'll be pleased to know there's a fully stocked gym downstairs, squat rack, elliptical, dumbbells, what more do you need? Another big win was the underground parking. Now, when you're in a new city, I know, I know, if you guys are like me, you're a little nervous. You're a little nervous leaving your car in unfamiliar territory at nighttime. Rest assured, there is the option for underground parking and you best believe I took that option. So as you guys can see, the underground parking is key. I know it doesn't seem like it's key on a day like today, but let's pretend it's, it's the dog days of winter. We've all been there. You leave your house, you go outside, your car is covered in a foot of snow and ice. What are you gonna do then? Fear not, here, if it's the dog days of winter, you are gonna be fine hopping in a you know moderately warm car and you're off to the races. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. A garage, you know, underground parking. I mean, I'm not mad, I'm not mad. Okay, just finished dinner and dinner was awesome. Naru, am I saying that right? Naru sushi, top tier, good service, awesome people. We'll be back. Okay, by the way, first thoughts. I mean, we've been here before, but this is the first time I'm really like paying attention, like really being like, well, what would it be like to live here? Do we pick the right city? Is St. John better than, than Fredericton or is Fredericton? I don't know, I don't know. I'm a cyclist. I'm not gonna say avid cyclist. I like to ride my bike, okay? First thing that stands out to me, as I was watching Irie ride, this St. John is hilly. Our neighborhood, like we live on a hill. St. John, very hilly, especially uptown. Fredericton, seems flat. I don't know. Put one in the wind column for Fredericton, but I don't know, I'm just saying, it's, it's pretty flat. Be a lot of fun to ride a bike around here, tell you that much. I want cake. Cake, 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 Having a kitchen really goes a long way. It's coming in clutch right now. We can have a family cake around the table. Like civilized people, not just on the bed. You know the, the traditional hotel rooms where it's just like bed, bed, dresser, bathroom? Could you imagine us trying to eat a piece of cake as a family like that? Like animals? No, thank you. How is it? Good. Okay, I'm gonna try. Let's try. Daddy, that part's not the icy. I can do it. Okay, I, I couldn't I couldn't sit in. I can't stay cooped up when I'm in a new place. I know this is not a com it's not a completely new place to me, okay? I've been here a couple times, but I've never been here for an overnight stay and I, I haven't like really, really really been here you know you know like been here been here so i mean anyways i'm gonna take a walk around because i know cities are a lot different during the day than they are at night so we're gonna take a, a, a walk around i want to see what what freddie is like at night i mean it, it is a university town i know saint john tends to come alive at night again this is not a comparison video Fully. I mean, I am sizing the place up. Okay, I do like St. John a lot, but I really just want to see what the city has to offer at nighttime. We are downtown. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a stroll. It's University City. It's Friday, right? The city should be popping, but I don't know. It seems pretty quiet right now where I am, anyway. Anyhow, let's let's check it out. Freddie, what's up? Let's see, what's going on? 
Yeah. Can I? Can you tell me this on on no. camera? No. <laughs> no. We're no, on we'll just on Willistic territory. Yeah. She's. So, <laughs> you're you're from Fredericton, right? I am. I live in Fredericton. I'm from St. Mary's First Nation. Okay, St. St. Mary's First Nation. Can yeah. you explain that because you caught me off a little bit off guard? I didn't know what that was. Okay, so St. Mary's First Nation is a urban reserve. It's a reserve in the middle of the city. And so the reserve was established when it was established, um, but it was outside of the city limits type thing, right? And then the city built up around the reserve. Mm -hmm. And what's that like living? This is actually the first time I've ever heard of a urban... Urban reserve. I've Ur never... Yeah. 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 Excuse my ignorance. I just, you know, I'm... Yeah. I can't, we can't know everything in the world. No, that's right. So I'm glad I met you because Thank that's you. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Thanks. So Fredericton, um, you like Fredericton? I like Fredericton. I grew up in Fredericton and around Fredericton. I've also lived away from Fredericton for a really long time. So I've lived in different places across Canada. And probably about 12 and a half years ago, I came back to Fredericton and I've been here ever since. And, uh, you know, I grew up and while I was gone, um, and it's, you know, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice city. It's a friendly city, I think. Um, I wish that, uh, I wish that there was more art though in the mm. city. I think the city could do better when it comes to, um, you know, promoting artists and, um, murals and, and things like that. So mm -hmm. St. John or Fredericton? Totally Fredericton. Oh damn. I gotta say Fredericton. Okay, good morning everyone. New day, new opportunities. Lots to be grateful for today. We're here at Tipsy Muse. This is one of our favorite spots. Whenever we come here, whether it's you know morning, afternoon, we, we love to come here. Coffee is great, food is great. Lots of options, lots of cool options uh, for us here. But anyways, on the way here, Jess and I were saying, this city feels an awful lot like Hamilton, Ontario. For those of you guys who have been to Hamilton, I guess uh, that's the only way you're gonna be able to make this comparison, but it, it does it does have that that type of Hamilton vibe. You know, it's it's an energy thing, like a lot of things. But yeah. I have a special bond with Hamilton. I played a year of hockey there in the American Hockey League for the Hamilton Bulldogs, which is the farm team for the Montreal Canadiens. Well, at least they were at the time. But a special thing happened there when I was playing. I spent the entire season living in a suite almost the same as what we're staying in now. Um, I didn't have a, an apartment there. I stayed in like the uh, the corporate uh, rental suite for the entire season. So, you know, being here, it kind of feels like I'm, I'm back home in some type of far off way. But yeah, what do you guys think? Have you been to Hamilton and then visited Fredericton or vice versa? Are they somewhat similar or am I just out to lunch or in this case, out to breakfast? You want. This is perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we're at Tipsy Muse. You guys are in Fredericton. Um, can you tell us a little bit about like who you guys are and, and what you represent in the community? Yeah, so we've been here a little over three years and a huge part of the business is to be a place for the community to gather and having a spot for artists to come and work and play music and we have open mics and we have live music shows and we strive to serve really great coffee. So just okay. being a gathering space, a watering hole for our community here. You can bag on the for you. Thank you. Awesome. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thanks so much. Tipsy Muse, shout out to Tipsy Muse. Thank you guys so much for having us. And full disclosure guys, yes, although we, this kind of like was a collaboration with, with Tipsy Muse, they did invite us. We love them. We've been there before a few times. I think that's probably my fourth time there, at least third time there. Um, and we'll be back for sure. It's, it's just a great spot, really love it there. And it's right beside the farmer's market. So we are here on a Saturday and uh, the farmer's market is like a two minute walk from there. So yeah, farmer's markets are, are just awesome. It is that season. Our trip to Fredericton was really going well. 
but it, it didn't end there. A lot of you guys have been recommending or suggesting that we check out one of the biggest attractions up in the Fredericton area, up in that region. What I'm referring to is King's Landing. Well, what is King's Landing, you ask? Well, okay, Jenna, we are at King's Landing. Yeah. I've never been here before. We've never been here before. Like, what is King's Landing? Yeah, so King's Landing is a living, living history museum um, where basically it's like you step back in time to about 1850s New Brunswick, uh, where people are just living out their daily lives in their homes and in their workshops. Um, we have like a blacksmith, a printer, the Grant store, the Hughes family, the Pearly family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and what types of activities are, are there here for, for kids to do? Like, what should we expect on our visit today? Yeah, so definitely you want to catch a wagon um, and take it out into town. Um, and then there's also lots of farm animals to see. Uh, we have like sheep and pigs and horses and oxen. And you'll have to see biscuit and buckwheat. They're the little, twi uh, little baby oxen that you can see. Um, and then in the homes, you know, there might be little things for them to discover, see people baking or doing crafts, things like that. And making a print, uh, bookmark at the print shop, you can do that too. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so excited. Thank you for having yeah. us. No problem. Thank you for coming. <laughs> If you want to make baskets, what you're going to end up doing is you can do things like this. I had a student make this, her first attempt, so it's not hard, right? And you just take the ends and tuck them in. Now this is a basket like I make out of cattails, and it's simple, you know, a very simple. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. And this is how I get my water, and I'll put it into one of these. And I would need to heat some if we're doing the dishes. I would have to heat some on my pots over there. Okay, that's all she wrote. It was a really fun experience here at King's Landing. Filmed around and I loved how we took like literally a step, well not literally, we took a, uh, a pseudo step back in history and saw how people were living. I think it was like 200 years plus ago. So pretty interesting. I have a sort of a newfound fascination with um, self, uh, a self-sustaining lifestyle, so to speak. So I thought it's really interesting how humans have, have been truly like creative, intuitive, and um, how they have, have learned or how they may do with uh, nature and things that are around. And yeah, it's just really cool. We've got, we've come so far from that. And I have an admiration of the skills that it took to survive and thrive, you know, in, in generations before us. So it was really cool to you know, to go around it and see or imagine how it must have been like to live at a time, well, a long time ago. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed King's Landing. But, yeah, we're back. We're tired. It's a lot of walking. And, uh, yeah, we're headed back downtown now. So, I'm going to put this down. Yeah. Okay, so are you from Fredericton? I am, yes. Okay, and what's your favorite thing about living in the city? Uh, it feels like a small town even though it's i mean it's not a huge city but it still has a really small town feel it's i find it a really friendly place and really welcoming um and they do a really great job of just sort of inviting people to be themselves in the city i find like i've never had i've never had personal experiences with fredericton not being a welcoming place for people okay cool is there anything um i mean no place is perfect is there anything yes. that you wish could be improved in the city um I wish that due to its size, accessibility to certain things can be an issue. So we have a couple of like really great art galleries, um, but I'm in the arts myself, so I wish there was more of that. Uh, and I think just raising more awareness for sort of the great things that Fredericton does have. Right, People who live in Fredericton know about all this stuff, but people who don't don't always sort of know how many activities and what kind of galleries and what kind of events go on in the city. Um, and I think it's a really great sort of draw for people. Because um, like I said, Fredericton, it feels really like a small town without being sort of a small town. And I think that's a really unique thing. Cool, and last question. This is just a fun one, yeah. just playful. St. John or Fredericton? Oh, Fredericton. Yeah. I was born and raised. Okay, okay, <laughs> nice. I, I can respect a little bias, yeah. I like it. When I ask people about what they love about their city, I often get answers that live in the realm of arts and culture. And personally, I don't disagree. 
I've traveled to many different places over the years and arts and culture are those things that make a place stand out. They make a place memorable and they leave a lasting impression on me. Okay, that's, that's pretty much it. We just checked out of the suite, but before we head out of town, we wanted to hit up one of our favorite spots in the city. We were here actually last summer, not the one that just passed, the one before for Jess's birthday. We had our whole crew great spot. What we love about Isaac's Way is two things. First being, they have an extremely diverse menu. Options for any dietary type. Whatever your need is, Isaac's Way has you covered. Number two, when you walk into the restaurant, you sort of feel like you're in an art gallery. They have paintings all over the walls created by local artists. And one thing I could say for sure, there definitely isn't a shortage of talented artists in the city. Yeah. Okay. I already cut everything. Oh my god. That's a big mistake. Yes. We made the most taboo mistake when like vlogging about food. We were so hungry we, we dug in before we got imagery or video of what it looked like when it was served to us. I haven't even taken a bite yet. I'm starving. But Irie got the chickpea burger. Pork fries. I got the pancakes, orange pancakes avocado and beans shout out to all my uk peeps and just got the beet salad with goat cheese with yeah. or smoked go vegan gouda vegan smoked vegan smoked gouda yeah nice. it looked much nicer than this when it came yeah <laughs> it looked amazing it still does look amazing mm -hmm. okay we're gonna eat now Another giant shout out to the sponsor of this video, Premier Suites Fredericton, as well as our friends at the Tipsy Muse, King's Landing, and Isaac's Way. But after all that, we'd love to hear from you guys. Question, have you been to Fredericton? And if so, did it leave an impression on you? Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. Please be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you really want to say thanks, you can support this channel by buying us a coffee. Link is in the description for that. That was a long one. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.